You may have noticed a few bald officers around campus. Miranda McHodgkins explains what has the Auraria campus police losing their hair. Every once in a while, we're all due for a haircut, but some need it more than others. It can even be life-changing, like for little Alex who has stage three cancer. They're in the fight right now. A shaved head means hope, a hope towards a cure. Many showed up to this year's St. Baldrick's event because they've been affected by cancer in one way or another. My cousin, she had a rare cancer and she passed away when she was 13. I had a daughter pass away. My sister that died seven years ago. Our own Auraria Campus Police got involved to support all these people and help raise money. We got the Auraria Police Department coming on up. Oh. My 13-year-old daughter, who has hair down to here for the next few minutes, uh, she got involved in this and I started talking about it at work and they said, how brave is that? And I said, why is my 13-year-old braver than my officers? And they said, no, we're brave too, and they all wanted to help. Over 18 Auraria police participated in the event. It was a big help for the kids. The kids can see us, they won't be afraid of us, they say they can see us as somebody that was wanting to help them. With a small price of losing their hair, they were able to give hope in the form of $4,000. This was fun. It was fun doing the fundraising, and I'm glad that uh, so many people at the police department participated and that our campus community and our family and friends supported us. It was great. It was different because I've never had my head shaved before, so I was wondering what uh, what I had in store. So yeah, I, it's, it's different, but it's good. It's for a good cause. For the Met Report, Miranda McCotchkins.